Hi everyone, I recently made a video about this Whiskin X cable, which is a magnetic lightning cable. So basically it just disconnects and connects as a magnet. So it's good if you forget that your iPad or your iPhone is plugged in, because instead of ripping the cord out of the wall, it's just going to disconnect here. So it has this little bit that goes into the iPad or your iPhone. Now, in my previous video, I said that it's a good idea, but it broke after one day. And a lot of people had suggestions. For instance, some people said you have to connect it to your device and then connect it to the USB port. Some people said to reset your device. And I tried all these different ideas, swapping it around, trying it in different devices. And the best I can get is this. This cable accessory is not certified and may not work reliably with this iPad. But you can see that it does not start charging. So I figured, let's just work this out once and for all because for those that don't know inside every apple cable is a special chip and that's how apple will verify that it's a legitimate cable and this one is not certified so what they do is they use a fake chip like a clone chip and it pretends and sometimes those chips break for whatever reason they break and then the cable stops working so let's get a multimeter and just measure let's do the most basic measurement and see if we are actually at least getting five volts out of this so as a control test we're going to start with an official apple cable I'll connect my ground and then I'll probe for the power pin. There you go, 5.07 volts. Oops. So I've now got the magnetic cable plugged in. Let's do the same test. Connect my ground and then let's go for the positive 1.3 volts. There's the problem, it's not even outputting 5 volts. But let's test if it's also the same on the pins in here. So I'll take the negative from the USB plug itself. And then we'll take the positive from the pins in here. Two, oops. 2.4 volts. So we're still a long way off 5 volts. And we've got a big voltage drop going from here to this little adapter here. So yeah, something is definitely wrong with this cable. It's meant to be 5 volts. It's nowhere near that. So I don't think it matters what I do with my devices or how many times I plug this in and unplug it. It's just not going to work because <laughs> there's not 5 volts. So yeah, thanks for everyone who tried to help me. But I think this cable really is busted. So if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.